Welcome to another video guys. Today what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to like uh, put in your macro, put your macros into my fitness pal so you can track it and stuff like that. I'm not going to show you how to log stuff into my fitness pal because I'm going to show you that uh, the next video because I'm going to do a full day of eating video. Be prepared. Uh, but yeah, today I'm just gonna, basically going to show you what to do on uh, my fitness pal. Let me put it on my screen recorder really quick. So what you're going to do is you're gonna go to my fitness pal. It's taking forever to load. Then you're going to you're gonna go to um, where it says goals, right here. Then I don't really worry about any of this. Uh, I mean, you can put in your weight and stuff and keep track of it if you really want to. I don't worry about that. Uh, then you type, you want to type in your calories first here, so mine's 1574, so I'm just going to do 1574 just to show you guys, put it in there, okay, then you want to make sure that your macros are basically as close to the numbers that you got from the last video, um, if you don't know your macros yet, then you can either do the macros on here and do your own percentages, or do, go like, go watch my last video, calculate your macros, um, I would rather, much rather do that because, anyways, I'm not going to get into it. But then you want to get as close as you can. It has to equal, <clears throat> down at the bottom right, your percentages obviously have to, they have to equal 100%. Um, and then I'd have 30% carbs, 40% protein, and 30% uh, fat. Uh, really, if like average uh, grams of fat that I recommend for anyone really is like at least 50 grams of fat, it just... Fat is just, you need fat in your diet, okay? If anything too, like, fat helps, like, regulate hormones, it helps process food, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's really, that's really basically it. Put all that in there and then follow that every day. The next video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, track everything in the full day of eating video. Uh, with all that being said, enjoy the rest of the vlog. So, um, currently at Walmart, I was just going to wait to do this in another video, but uh, there were some complications that I had with like filming the workout portion for the last video, so uh, I kind of just like, I'm going to make this one big video. Um, I'm at the store, I'm going to do a full day of eating, um, and as I'm like eating, I'm going to just log it in. I'm going to show you guys my diet. Uh, or like at least it's pretty it's basically just gonna be like my diet every day unless I have like a cheat meal um, I do have like a cheat meal like every two Not every two but like uh, like twice a week. I mean um, so and That's just so I like don't go insane this prep. I am taking a longer approach this prep um, so yeah, let's uh Let's buy some, some flipping stuff dude
wanted to discuss everything I had and like kind of walk you through my diet and like what I'm doing. So today I'm doing a full day of eating. I'm gonna cook basically like what I what I eat in my diet just about every day, um, unless I have a cheat meal or something like that. So uh, when I cook it, I kind of just like I'll cook it all at once unless it's like something that you just throw in the microwave. Like this I just throw it in the microwave. I eat one bag of these like every day. So because uh, I recommend you having you know something like this in your diet because it's low calories, it's dense, it kind of keeps you fuller for longer. So eat one bag of these every day. Uh, sometimes all at the same time. Sometimes it's just I separate it in with my meals. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this is important to have. Okay. Then, well, every morning I wake up, I'll have two eggs, two whole eggs, and then I'll have like four egg whites, which I didn't buy last night because I have some with me still. But this is the one I get right here. Uh, I think it says like, what is it? Three fourths of cups is like four, uh, it's like equal to four egg whites or something like that. Then I get bananas. Uh, I have one whole banana every day along with my, my eggs. That's basically all I have for breakfast. Then I cook all of my ground turkey at the same time. Uh, I add a little bit of salt. I used to add this seasoning. I wonder if I have it. Uh, never mind. Just kidding, I don't have it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I add salt. You do need salt in your diet, regardless of what anyone tells you. Salt actually does help. Um, it helps with like contracting your muscles when you're working out. So your muscles contract better if you have more sodium in your diet. Plus if you work out, um, you sweat out a lot of sodium anyways and stuff like that. So if you're active, you should you need more sodium in your diet than the average person anyways. Um, so it's really good to have. Um, the key to that is just keeping your your sodium consistent. So if your sodium's not consistent, then that's when like weight starts to fluctuate. I mean, if it's if your sodium intake is like always really high, then you can expect to have a lot of water weight most of the time. But as long as it's like you know a moderate amount and like consistent, you should be fine. Another thing: take one of these with every meal. Cayenne pepper. So cayenne pepper, what it's going to do? First of all, it's going to help like boost your metabolism a little bit, uh, which in turn will. If, like it'll speed up fat loss. I saw great progress or great results doing this with my last prep. So just one of these every day. Um, and then I bought this. Uh, normally I wouldn't say go for this one. Like if you can like do the like regular um, regular apple cider vinegar. It doesn't have like the honey and all the extra stuff added into it. That'd be better for you. I can't do that. If you can't do that, no one's going to judge you. It's freaking disgusting. I can't do it. Spinach. I have spinach. Uh, really, spinach is just another one of those things where, like, um, I eat it because it does have, like, properties in it to help you, like, help make you more vascular, and it also helps uh, fight off, you know, fat and stuff like that. But also, I like to put this in my smoothie sometimes, like, if I'm... Uh, if I'm in like a hurry or if I if I actually didn't like eat enough today, I'll make a quick smoothie. I'll put this in it and just kind of adds a little volume. Um, that's really, I think that's it. Oh, this is super important. So if you know me, then you know that I literally can't function without coffee. Like I'm basically a zombie or I'm, uh, I have mental issues. Not really, but uh, <laughs> sugar-free creamer. This is like, it's one thing that I kind of like track uh, but like not that much like this is the one thing in my diet that I don't really weigh out or track um, I just kind of like I'm kind of mindful of like how much I use but I do use this a lot and I use it every single morning so sugar-free creamer super important to have for me anyways um, just because like I have to have coffee or like I'm just gonna be mad all the time so yeah I think that's basically it with all that being said let's Cook some breakfast. Yeah, let's cook some breakfast.
my coffee, and my first cayenne pepper pill of the day. Um, so I have this, kind of rest a little bit or wait a little minute, and uh, normally like every three hours I have my meals. So every three hours I'm taking one of these. Okay, so for this meal here, I'm trying to set up my tripod so it's like better. For this meal here, 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 heal. For this meal here, um, I have six ounces of turkey, about what is that, like 60 grams of rice, and then about a cup of spinach. This is my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna eat this really quick, and then go to the gym. That'll be it, but I forgot the fork. So. before I go to sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. The reason I didn't film me eating meal like, was it three to, it really was like, I think it was just five meals, so like meals three to five, so I didn't show that. It's because basically you'd be watching me eat the same thing 
over and over again, and that just seems like really boring content. So, the last thing I do before I go to bed is I drink really, uh, it's supposed to be like two teaspoons of this stuff, but I do like about a cup, because again, I'm using like this stuff, which is like, it's more watered down. So about a cup of that. Um, what apple cider vinegar is supposed to do is supposed to like increase insulin sensitivity uh, while you sleep and like prevent your body from going into like a, a fat metabolism stage so that you can, well, basically like burn fat while you sleep. It was on the internet, so it's true. I, I didn't, I didn't just know that it was on the internet. Uh, but yeah, this is what I did last prep. Um, and worked really well. It does help kind of keep like water weight off a little bit too, but that's basically it. Let me drink this really quick. Show you guys how it's done. Ugh. Oh, it's off. Uh, that's it everyone. That's the vlog. Oh, have a good night. You know what to do. Get muscles. Peace.